What's going on, everyone? It's time, <coughs> it's time for another film review. Today we're going to talk about bodies, bodies, bodies. Yeah, this is a thriller. It's classified as a horror film, but it's not a horror film. This is a goddamn thriller. This is a thriller. It's um, not horror at all. But, uh, yeah, some for some reason they market it as a horror film because, well, it's easier to market it as a horror film than a thriller. But, yeah, so bodies, bodies, bodies. Well, there's a... Harry King coming, so this uh, girl and her girlfriend, I guess, go and uh, <coughs> basically um, live. I'll oh, go into this house party and have like a couple of drinks, snort a lot of cocaine, and then uh, it appears that some of their friends are getting attacked during it, and they can't go anywhere because the hurricane's hitting. So they have to fight and see who's actually the killer, and uh, basically go on a crazy rampage through the house and. How about this while playing this game, Body Bodies Bodies? And it's uh, really annoying. Um, but yeah, this Bodies 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 was released March 14th, my birthday, <laughs> to, uh, 2022. And it was directed by Helena Rijin, who also did Instinct, The Student, Black Book, Red Light. It was at a box office earnings of $14 million. I think it was like a modest success when it came out. But um, yeah, so overall, this film is like well shot and everything. I just hated the characters in this movie. Holy. Okay, this definitely sums up the younger generation, Gen Z or whatever, and all that perfectly. And uh, yeah, but it also depicts basically what happens when you like all these helicopter parents and stuff um, that are overprotective and everything now. And this is basically how your kids are going to become if you watch this film. Um, it is very... Um, it's amusing. It's sort of like a black comedy-ish. Um, but yeah, it is very annoying, though. I didn't really care for most of the characters, and it was very predictable for the most part. And then um, as the film progresses throughout it it gets a little more violent and fun and interesting but we still have to put up with all these annoying characters that are barely fleshed out or anything like that so like i couldn't really relate to anyone in it or anything like that and there's nothing that kept me hooked in but luckily i watched it to the end because the ending was so satisfying and hilarious and so true to how these young people are these days um of course i could see this happening in real life and that, and um, it was really amusing, to say the least. And uh, yeah, so le by the end of the movie, like I was really annoyed and um, bored and uh, just frustrated watching this film until the ending. And then the ending, I, I felt a little more humble at the end <laughs> after watching it because it's like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that would happen. And 100%, that's how it would play out. So, overall, it's an okay movie, I guess. The acting's not too bad. Um, I just think the characters need a lot more work, and the story needs work. And, uh, overall, it could have been way better. But, but what it is, with having an, the ending saved it for me. So, I was originally going to give this like a one, one and a half, but I'm going to give it like a two, two and a half at the most. Um, it wasn't really for me, but... Overall, it's done an amusing outcome, and uh, had some okay conflict scenes and stuff in it, but for the most part, it's just okay. So, yeah, that's what I thought of Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Um, but also, if you want to check this film out, it's on Prime, and also, um, I'll link a trailer down below so you can check it out, so you can see what I'm talking about if you've never heard of it or anything. That'll be down below. But yeah, so, but also make sure you check out my Instagram that's linked down below. It's where I always post clips of films and review in the future. All my stories at the film title hashtag, the subject on film and the hashtag, so you're aware of it. Also, my letterbox is down below, Derek P. Reviews. That's where I post my first star rating after watching the films. And I have Twitter, uh, it's at reviews underscore Derek. Follow me on there, so for updates on the channel and stuff. And follow me on all three of those for updates on the channel. Um, yeah, like this video, share it somewhere people are aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below. Um, if you have any other films or film franchise in any genre and on any streaming service that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below too. I'll try to make sure get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. Make sure you subscribe. Hopefully we'll find some weird, obscure, and odd that you probably never thought of checking out together. And also hear my opinions on popular films that have come out, classic films, and reviews on other things. And also, 
um, make sure you ring that bell because I'm going to go watch an old two, early 2000s slasher film called See No Evil starring the wrestler Kane. I used to watch wrestling when I was like eight and when this came out, I was could not wait to see it and I thought it was awesome, but let's relive it and see if it actually is awesome. <laughs> but yeah, but that's it for now. Um, yeah, buys, buys, buys. Pretty disappointing, but I didn't really have high hopes for it anyway, so I'm not surprised at that. Um, but overall, it does have a really amusing outcome. So if you, even if you don't want to see it, at least watch the outcome or anything, because it definitely uh, encapsulates how the younger generation is nowadays and how it would, something like this would actually turn out. So, yeah. But that's it for me. Watch out for all those crazy young kids shooting each other, killing each other, and uh, making a mockery of humanity. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So until then, cheers.